Hello beautiful people, hope you are all doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to Prisco de Wimbo. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing my experience with tourism when we went to the UK. So if you haven't yet watched my vlog for when we went to the UK, please watch it. I've linked it up here. I don't know if it's up here or up here, but there should be a pop-up that's here. We went for my sister-in-law's wedding. She was getting married and it was such an amazing, an amazing, an amazing day. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to go for a very long time because I had already taken a chunk of my leave days from work um, in the beginning of the year. So I had taken some leave days in January because we had our traditional wedding then and then also took some more leave days in and around our white wedding which took place in April. With that said, we didn't have much time to do too many activities. It's Wednesday 20th of September and generally I haven't held my camera since I think the day after the wedding or no, the last time was the wedding day which was on Saturday <sighs> there's been a lot of pressure, no lie because we're here for such a short amount of time and we've got so much, like so many things to do we have to see family and family scattered in different parts of of England and then we have to obviously try to do some shopping and we have to see friends so there's just a lot of things that we genuinely need to do and we're trying to jam-pack that in like a space of a week which is insane so we've been tired every day trying to wait oh and we also need to do tourist stuff so it's a lot and through all this chaos, we came to my sister's because we were living at our friend's house and then we came to my sister-in-law's place last night and through all of that I forgot to carry stuff from my camera so I forgot the tripod and well the gimbal I suppose you could call it and then I forgot my mic so it's just me and the camera and I forgot the extra battery <sighs> But hey, it is what it is. It's all part of life, right? But yeah, that's the story. Uh, we're trying to decide whether we should do tourist things today. Because to be fair, the weather is looking pretty okay right now. But weather forecast is saying that it's going to rain and there's a 94% of precipitation. It's, I think, 11 o'clock or quarter past 10 or something right now. It's gonna start raining at all so let's see we'll just we'll just see as it goes see as the day goes so cool we woke up on a certain day the weather was looking fantastic and we were like look let's do it so we hopped on a train from South Croydon I actually like how this train looks inside compared to the underground because it's classier but it is slower compared to the underground and it's less frequent as well because I think there's a train, one train after 30 minutes, every 30 minutes whereas the underground is like, there's a train every three minutes during the day and then I think at night it's like five minutes or something but it is what it is. Um, let's see what touristy things we can do today once we get to London Bridge. Because what the report was saying that it was going to rain today. It was sunny in the morning, but there's a bit of overcast now. So let's see what we can manage to do. But we'll see you guys just now. So what we did, we got off the train station and then we hopped on to one of the buses. So we 
and now I'm going to hop on and hop, hop, hop off buses the tower, and which is hard, like the getting a small tour so with the company gold so 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 with Golden Tours, what they do is they've got different kinds of buses. So they've got the Blue Tour. So the Blue Tour is basically a classic tour, right? And then on the classic tours, it literally tours you through and takes you through all the main central London landmarks. And then they've also got the Red Route, which consists of an essential tour. So with the essential tour, it covers Convent Garden, Westminster Abbey, Hyde Park, as well as many of the capital's must-sees. Then they've also got the Orange Route, which consists of the museum tour. And in the museum tour, they'll pass through the National History Museum, Science Museum, v &A Museum, as well as the Royal Albert Hall. So yeah, so we hopped on the Blue Tour and we saw the various sites. And what's so cool about these buses is they come with a conductor or rather I could say like with a tour guide. So they actually have a microphone and all of those things and they'll be telling you the history of the key sites or the key things that you come across. 1078, so there's about um, 820 years difference between the two, but they were built, well, the Tower Bridge was built so that it would fit in with the local London skyline. Queen Victoria thought it was an ugly eyesore that blocked the view from the Tower of London and down the River Thames. So, anyway, here on the left hand side, there is the City Hall. Once again, cost the British taxpayer £21 million pounds to name, and the name they went with was City Hall. It is the Mayor's Office. So cool. So the first day we did that. So um, what we ended up agreeing with my husband was cool. Let's do the um, the tour on the bus. Then let's wake up tomorrow in the morning, and then we can come and catch changing of the guards, right? Which takes place at Buckingham Palace. So there's a certain time in the morning and in the afternoon, I think where they do the whole process where they'll be switching guards switching duties and everything and it's a whole procedure where like a lot of tourists come and watch hey guys so we've finished the tour for today and we're gonna go back tomorrow um to do the rest of the tour buckingham palace um <coughs> St. Paul's Cathedral and actually go inside and then the ferry. Oh, Buckingham Palace to see the changing of the guards. So that's our story. So now we're leaving South Croydon to go to Greenwich, um, which is where our friend stays. So that's our story. Yeah, tiring, eh? Public transport is so nice, but it's also tiring at the same time. Good morning. It's the next day. It is 9:32, and 
We are en route to the train station to go see the changing of the guards which happens at 11. So we need to go to London Bridge first to change some moolah and then proceed to Green Park. Uh, that's where the Buckingham Palace is and that's where the changing of the guards takes place. So yeah, that's our car is doing. super resistant to going on the tour because I was like why do I care about the history like I don't care but honestly British history is very very crazy it's crazy horrid but very interesting so if you're ever visiting London please do the tour it's honestly amazing and it will be worth your penny however these are my recommendations if you do decide to do a tour or to do tourist activities in London I could say if you want to do tourist things at least give two to three days for it minimum two days if you just want to do the basic things but if you really want to get a feel I think a good like four days or something where you're just doing things relaxed and not too jam-packed plan for the rain and the cold depending on what time of year you're going plan 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 for the rain because that weather is not predictable let me tell you that like girl it ain't predictable at all because there's gonna be a lot of walking in London there's a lot of walking here in Zim we do a lot of this but there you do a lot of this and I love it I honestly honestly love it make sure that when you visit England you have your MasterCard or Visa card on you because most places especially eating places don't take cash and I think they want to kind of rid this whole cash situation um, most places take cards or Google Pay or um, Apple Pay or Samsung Pay or what's the other one or PayPal those are the options that are there mainly so if you do have your visa card or mastercard please carry that and make sure that you're able to do international payments with it not to scare you some places do take cash but it's a little bit more inconvenient because now your choices are limited as to what it is that you could do and what it is that you can also eat with that said i hope you enjoyed this video and hope my tips have been a bit useful and um, so if you are traveling to the UK make sure you watch this video before you do that um, but yeah other than that thank you so much for tuning in love you guys and see you next time bye